Welcome everyone to SmackDown Live in Pontiac, Michigan. Only a couple more weeks until the grand annual Royal Rumble pay-per-view. In front of 15,000 fans as we begin the show with the new Intercontinental Champion, El Idolo in Andrade Cianamis. Making his Andrade Cien Amis, a man that was able to step up and face John Cena on the last episode of SmackDown Live where he was able to put down the legendary John Cena and was able to win the Intercontinental Championship in his first match on SmackDown Live. Andrade Cien Amis has done what not many people can say they have done to John Cena which is defeat him under debut and win a championship nothing less. Andrade Cianomis is not scheduled to compete, but I'm sure he's going to have some words here in front of the WWE Universe. Now Andrade got his hands on the microphone. Obviously the crowd not really pleased. Andrade Cianomis. Letting his voice be heard. He able to make a big splash last week on SmackDown Live. I'm trying to see an Amis. Obviously. Looking to remind the world what he did last week. Andrade able to go in and beat a guy like Cena. I mean, John Cena had many feuds with the likes of Kurt Angle and many more are on the SmackDown brand. But Andrade Cena almost did what others struggled to do, which was walk in, beat John Cena, and especially with a championship on the line. Andrade Cianomis bragging, obviously confident, just uh, starting to be coming a little bit cocky, if you ask me. The crowd started to get on the nerves of the new Intercontinental Champion as well. Andrade seems to, be, seems to be a bit fired up right now. Andrade San Amis. Not being afraid to tell the world how he feels. Introducing himself here on SmackDown Live. Well, that's the new Intercontinental Champ. Well, ladies and gentlemen, later on on SmackDown Live, AJ Styles, the WWE Champion, wants to know who will face him at the Royal Rumble for the WWE Championship. We're going to find out what's going to happen later on tonight on SmackDown Live. But also later on tonight, we're going to have Kevin Owens go one on one with Dean. Ambrose, the return of the Lunatic Fringe. Can he survive the prize fighter? We'll find out later on on SmackDown. But let's begin with some tag team action. Here comes the former SmackDown Live tag team champs. Seamus, Cesaro, The Bar. Warrior, Sheamus, and Cesaro. The Bar. 
as the bar making their way towards the ring. First time seeing the bar on SmackDown Live in a, in a while now. Last time we saw the bar, I believe, was when Sheamus took on Braun Strowman. But tonight, they have a big, big opportunity, a big chance, because they're going up against the new SmackDown World Tag Team Champions in the War Raiders, who made a big splash at the WWE tape. Tables, Lattice, and Chairs TLC pay-per-view a couple weeks back. So the first time since TLC, we're going to see the War Raiders in action. A monstrous ovation for the new Tag Champs. And there they are, Hanson and Rowe. They're going to cause havoc tonight in Pontiac. SmackDown Live World Tag Team Champions and there are here. At a combined weight of 552 pounds, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Rowe and Hanson, the War Raiders. I wonder if the bar can handle 552 pounds of humanity inside that ring when it comes to these two gentlemen in Hanson and Rowe. World, the, the, the tag team champions able to put away the B team at TLC and the B team sadly since it's, this is a new era in WWE they're not going to be able to get a rematch for those tag team titles if they want a rematch they have to earn their way back up they got to win matches to get their opportunity at the tag team titles once again and this could be a big step for the bar if they can pin the tag champs tonight matchup is on the way here we go cut up a tie up by Rowe on the Sheamus. Brock Channing, you look stupid at the Celtic Warrior, but Sheamus not looking to let that face him. Shot to the side of the skull as well. Got over tie up only weeks away from the Royal Rumble, which I cannot wait for. A lot of memories, a lot of great moments has happened in Universe Mode, especially coming from the Royal Rumble. Like when Randy Orton returned at the Rumble pay-per-view in the Rumble match and was able to win the whole thing. At number 30. Or when Kevin Owens made a shocking surprise by winning the whole Royal Rumble match last year. Hanson, or Row rather, able to hang on to the ropes. Got whipped to the corner. Sheamus got him. Looking to go for a belly to belly, but Row able to turn it around. And now Row got his hands on Sheamus. Sheamus in trouble. Got him up here. Look at this. Vertical suplex. Beautiful, beautiful suplex. Will it be enough? And a kick out. Not even a one count. A little big right there by, by Rowe. And then Rowe again got Sheamus leaning on the ropes. Not got him. And oh, stomped to the chest as well. Able to stomp him hard on his chest. And I'm trying to go for an exploded suplex perhaps. But Sheamus turned it around into a hip toss into his favor. Sheamus able to take down Rowe. With a hip toss and a kick to the spine for good measure. And now got him here with a belly, belly overhead toss. The crowd not in favor of the bar at the moment. Sheamus, a man who's had success here in Universal Smoke without a doubt. Former Intercontinental Champion, former Tag Team Champion as well. Don't want to take Sheamus lightly. As oof, Sheamus taking it towards Row. The bar will have nothing more to the show than to show the world how inferior that... The War Raiders are. You're on SmackDown Live. Doesn't matter what splash they made, what big of a splash they made in the indie independent scene in the indies. But when it comes to WWE in the big leagues, it's a lot tougher than you think. But Rob made the tag. Here comes Hanson. Hanson, pop up. Got him up position. Springboard. No! Oh! Tandem offense there. Hooks the outside leg. This Hanson. But oh! Row able to take care of Cesaro after Cesaro stopped the pin attempt. Kick to the gut by Hanson. Went for a chop. Sheamus felt that kick very hard in the gut. Left shot there by Sheamus. Double X handle. Ducked it to Hanson. And oh my god. Big right. Now got him downstairs. Got him. Tiger Bomb. Tiger Bomb planted. Got him down. Will it be enough to count? But Sheamus turned it around into his favor in the kick. Got out one. Oh my god. Back and forth. 
And Sheamus and Hanson. Oh, duck the clothesline. Big right there. Tuck him down. The big right. The hammer fist. Not able to keep him down for a three. Sheamus crawling towards Cesaro. Makes the tag. Hanson, you saw Hanson trying to stop it. But oh, man. Both had something in mind as far as a flying attack goes. But no avail. But Cesaro seems to be in control at the moment. Able to find a way to turn things around into the bar's favor. The crowd is still not in favor of the bar. The, the crowd is, is in favor of the War Raiders. Covered there off the leg drop. Forming the face and a kick out of two. Almost had him. Almost had him to a point where Roll got it. Had to get in the ring and try to stop the pin. Cesar went off for a quick breather. Looking to rethink his strategy. But look at this. Hits it with the DDT. DDT and oh my god a jumping headbutt will it be in a kick out of one and now oh wait Cesaro with a kick to the gut and Cesaro launching Hanson for an uppercut the strength of the Swiss Superman is very unreal trying to go for something maybe the swing perhaps but took him down to Hanson what a matchup here got him up on his shoulders. We're going to go for the Rikishi driver. And he does. Rikishi driver. Will it be enough to defeat the bar and the kick out of two? Cesaro staying alive. The War Raiders are trying to get their first SmackDown win here tonight. But the bar is doing their best to, doing the best that they can to prevent that from happening. Assisted power slam by Hanson and Rowe. But Sheamus made the save there. Able to stop the pin. Duck the double axe handle. Kick to the gut. And oh, a spinning wheel, a spinning heel kick, I should say. On the Sheamus. Irish whip. Got him in the corner. Made the tag. Uh, got him up. They're gonna go for that tandem offense again. Springboard clothesline. It's like an updated version of the heart attack, if you ask me. And I got him up. Looking to go for it. Once again, the driver! The driver planted. Makes a tag. Here comes Rowe. And the Irish whip. Able to counter. Over the top, hanging on. And now roll with a shot to the face. Cesaro in trouble looking dazed off the top. This is wise. Oh man. Not able to connect with the cross body there. Over the top rope he went. If that was a rumble match, he would have been eliminated there. And now Cesaro and Roll going in at ringside. Right in front of the fans. Close to them. Up he goes for a power bomb. But no. Cesaro blocked it. Launches Cesaro off, off the barricade there. Gut first. What a matchup to begin SmackDown. Trying to show the world what the tag division is like with these teams here. And oh my God! Able to turn Cesaro around and caught him on the knee. Irish swept over the top, hanging on. And now Cesaro, they're going to bring him back in the ring the hard way. The strength of Cesaro with a super, with a suplex. Not a superplex, a suplex. And now Cesaro, deadlift, gut wrench, suplex. And, oh God, still got a hold of him. My God, the strength of this man. Unreal. My God, oh my God. Those deadlift government suplexes. Impressive by Cesaro. Looking to go for something. But Roe blocking it. Elbow shots to the dome. Irish slip. Got him in the corner. Makes the tag. Uh oh. Here it comes. From the top. Leg drop. Plants it down. Hooks the outside leg. Will it be the... War Raiders successful on their debut on SmackDown. Oh my god. Here are your winners, Roe and Hanson. The War Raiders. What a tag team match. 
on SmackDown Live in Pontiac, Michigan. The War Raiders successful tonight on SmackDown Live. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next on SmackDown Live, we got the European Championship being defended as Chuck Benjamin in action. Who will face him? We'll find out live next on SmackDown. That doesn't smell good if you're <laughs> Dean Ambrose tonight. As Kevin Owens plans to make it in an example out of Ambrose towards Sami Zayn if he gets in his way. Well, here we go. European title on the line tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Orangeburg, South Carolina. Weighing in at 248 pounds. The European Champion, Shelton Benjamin. Here comes the European Champ, Shelton Benjamin. Able to hold on to the title ever since winning it back at the kickoff show of Survivor Series. And now, we're going to find out who is it going to be. The uh huh? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh from my Capitol God! Capitol Hill, Washington D.C., weighing in at 227 pounds, the Velveteen Dream. Speaking of new faces, the Velveteen Dream has arrived on SmackDown. Oh my God! I mean, this man has done so much in his career so. Far. In his young career, I should say. And now, he's decided to make the jump to SmackDown. Velveteen Dream has been in the Performance Center for a while now. But he has been trying to make a, 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 a splash, a, a name for himself in the independence. In the independence scene. And now, King Booker able to land himself the experience. Velveteen Dream. This... I don't know what this is going to be, but this is going to be unique. And it's all for the European Championship. Show to Benjamin insisted on defending the title tonight. And we're going to see the Velveteen in action. The challenger from Capitol Hill, Washington, D.C., weighing in at 227 pounds, Velveteen Dream. Show to Benjamin. It's about to... Experience the dream. Introducing the champion from Orangeburg, South Carolina, weighing in at 248 pounds. He is the European champion, Shelton Benjamin. The question is, can the Velveteen Dream handle? Can he go toe to toe with, with one of the best pure athletes? in sports entertainment and Shelton Benjamin. But we're gonna find out right now as that championship, the European title, is on the line. Velveteen Dream is the one to step up and face Shelton Benjamin for that championship. And that's what it's all about right now. Can the Dream get the job done in this debut? Or will Benjamin send the Dream packing? Here we go, Bella Swung. Matchup is on the way. As a crowd will tie up. Velveteen Dream. Looking to be in control. Side headlock. And now Shelton Benjamin. Looking to get out the hole. And he does. Off the ropes goes Dream. And oh! Referee and the Dream. Both got a piece of Shelton Benjamin's knee there. But Dream. Looking to come back. And now. Oh, went for something. Benjamin able to counter. And now Benjamin got the arm here. But the Dream caught him. Shot to the side of the dome. Big uppercut there as well. Velveteen. Oh, what's for another one? But that time Benjamin had that well scouted. It worked for a maneuver. Got caught. Shot to the back of belt of Benjamin. Big right. No. Velveteen able to counter. And a double axe handle. Goes for a unique cover in the kick out by Benjamin. Velveteen Dream. 
without a doubt a uh, unique type of character if you ask me we're gonna do things his way a suplex but a, a gourd buster I should say launched him onto the top rope gut first and now the dream on the second rope they're gonna go for something as Benjamin not gonna like the view double X handle and again goes for a unique cover knee to the face and the kick out normally it's form to the face but dream with the knee to the face as well and now for a close line Benjamin ducked it Benjamin got him here another like suplex They're able to take him down Oof! big kick to the kidneys as well shot there by Benjamin got him here Ooh, nice backbreaker a nice backbreaker there by Benjamin Nice takedown by the Dream and a boot to the dome, oh my god! A boot to the mush of Benjamin and a splash for good measure. Velveteen looking good right now. Where for, oh, no wait, got, oh! Nice DDT, will it be enough? Got him down, the kick out. What a unique version of a DDT. I thought he went for a clothesline. Oh, I thought he went for a clothesline, but Benjamin ducked it. That's what I thought, but he caught him with a DDT anyway. Velveteen Dream is something else inside that ring, but Benjamin, they're going to make him like everyone else, suffer a loss with the title on the line, Butterfly Suplex, Butterfly Suplex, will that be enough to get the win over the debuting Dream, two count and the kick out, Benjamin a bit frustrated, but he cannot let frustration get the best of him in this matchup, got him downstairs, they're going to go for something, but the Dream now, look at the counter, and oh, beautiful clothesline, knocking him down, needed a side of the face and a kick out. All for the European Championship as the Velveteen Dream, look at the channel is inner Hogan with a leg drop and a kick out at one. Yeah, but a kick out at one did Benjamin, kick to the gut, Velveteen got him here, Ooh, wow. A nice suplex, a, ne a suplex, a neck breaker, I should say. Good grief. A neck breaker there by Dream. Able to take down Benjamin for a super kick. Look at the kick, the experience out of Dream. Went for Peter, but got caught with a chop block instead. You saw Benjamin trying to go for the Peter. And now, Dream up top. Purple Rainmaker. He calls it the Purple Rainmaker. Will it be enough? Hooks the outside leg, and the dream is champion. Oh my God! Velveteen Dream impressive tonight. Able to win the European title in his debut here in Pontiac. And Velveteen Dream about to leave the ring. We got the, the uh, what the? And now Velveteen. Adding insult to injury. I was stomping away on Benjamin. Well, in three weeks from tonight, the WWE Royal Rumble pay-per-view comes to us here on YouTube.com as we're going to see Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor for the WWE Universal Championship. And we're going to find out who will face AJ Styles later on on SmackDown. Don't miss out. Royal Rumble pay-per-view three weeks from tonight. They're back here on SmackDown Live, getting ready for some women's action as we have Ruby Wright here tonight inside the ring. The Wright squad able to get a win on the TLC kickoff show against the team of Sasha Banks, Ember Moon, and Carmella in that tornado style no disqualification match. Ruby Wright has one thing in mind. She wants to go after Ember Moon's money in the bank contract, stating that she doesn't deserve to have that briefcase. Well, Ruby Riley could have a chance to prove it tonight why she should be Miss Money to Bank. And she goes one on one with the former and champ, Naomi. From Orlando, Florida, Naomi. That's Naomi. One of the, one of the best SmackDown Live Women's Champions of 2K18 I have ever seen. Naomi, one of the best champions in Universe Mode history. Held the championship all the way from, I believe, the Elimination Chamber all the way, all the way, I believe, to 
Survivor Series, or no, no, sorry, SummerSlam. I get my pay per views mixed up. Until SummerSlam, a dominant, a dominant title ring defeated Mickey James and Becky Lynch and many more and was able to hold on to the title until Bailey, ever since coming over to SmackDown Live, Bailey was the one that was able to defeat Naomi for the championship. And now Naomi has been struggling to get back into that limelight ever since. And maybe tonight could be a start as Ruby Riot after the kick to the gut and a stunner. Able to land it with a stunner. And now Naomi able to take down Ruby. Dragon leg, a, a dragon screw I should take. And now Naomi looking to work on Ruby tonight. As we have yet to find out who will be the one to face Paige for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. And I'm sure these two will love nothing more to be in that position, to be the number one contender for the championship. As Ruby Ryan catching Naomi into a flatjack onto the top rope. And now Naomi bringing right into the corner. Got her up top now. Ryan in trouble. Oh no, Ryan with a kick to the face. And now Ryan, look at this. Hurricane Rana able to take down the master of the glow. And Naomi got her here. Full Nelson. No! Oh, Full Nelson bomb. That's what, that'll do some serious damage to the spine, if you ask me. Not just the backside, but the, the spine as well. And now I've got her over the top onto the outside. Give it a knocker down. Did Naomi. And now we're for, I believe. Just shocking for position. And now got her here. Snap. Suplex. Murphy had a count of three. Both women on the outside. Right. Down world spiral. Planting it down face first. And oh, went for a drop kick, but Naomi able to dodge it. Naomi now. Job breaker. Now I don't know how Naomi feels about. How Ruby Riot and the Riot Squad has been going about it on SmackDown Live as of late. Riot Squad has been getting themselves involved in in business that they normally that they shouldn't have been in. That they, they, they have that they shouldn't have stick their nose in, I should say. As oh, Riot with a hurricane rod onto Naomi. Going up top now. Riot looking to dive off with a frog splash, but Naomi well scouted had the knees up. And now they're going to capitalize, but Riot turned it around. Iris up hanging on. Monster. And now took her out to the outside. And now Riot's up top. This is wise, though. You're going outside now. This is more risky than it is inside the ring. Up top she goes. Ow! Oh! Naomi able to dodge a bullet there. Able to dodge a bullet dead Naomi. But now the Riot, not Ruby Riot, I should say, trying to... Game control here, but Naomi obviously not backing down from a fight. Now they're gonna stay down. We're gonna keep coming back and coming back. Irish Swift. If we got a count of five, Naomi back inside the ring. Naomi launched Ruby right onto the apron. Right trying to get back into her feet. Naomi, I guess they're gonna take this count out win, which I don't blame her. A win is a win no matter how. But right back inside the ring. Form to the face there by the leader of the Riot Squad. Ira Swift got her in the corner. Naomi, they're going to make Ruby Riot feel the glow. Naomi now. Split like a moonsault. And now Naomi. Oof. Doing some damage to the spine. Uh oh. And maybe glow time. Got her down. In position. The glow submission hold is locked in. Is Riot going to submit here? Naomi has the glow submission hold locked in. But Riot did not tap out. Maybe, maybe the damage is enough for a win. Hooks the leg with a big enough and she got her. The glow, the damage of the submission hold was good enough for a pinfall. Naomi, maybe tonight could be a start of her getting back to the championship picture. Or maybe a win towards the Rumble.
These were words from EC3 after his matchup with Dolph Ziggler last week. Saying that SmackDown has become the top 1%. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it is our main event matchup in Kevin Owens and Dean Ambrose. Will Ambrose survive Owens, or will Owens suffer the wrath of the lunatic fringe? We'll find out live next in Pontiac, Michigan. As they're back here on SmackDown, this is the last match of the night. We heard from Kevin Owens earlier tonight what he plans on doing towards the return of the lunatic fringe to Dean Ambrose. Look at Dean Ambrose tonight coming out new look, wearing wrestling trunks. I don't think I've ever seen Ambrose wearing wrestling trunks in in his in wrestling in WWE for that matter. Well, maybe a new era. That it maybe Ambrose looking to live up to that new change. That SmackDown is starting to change for the better. The question is, will Ambrose build momentum heading towards the Royal Rumble pay per view? Which this man is trying to do as well. But then again, this man is on a reign of terror. Look at the cause havoc as he and sees his fit. From Maryville, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens. As Kevin Owens makes his way towards the ring, the prize fighter. Fight Owens fight. A man that's been obsessed of regaining the WWE title. Cannot live with the fact that he should not be the WWE champ. That he should not have lost that match. And he should be the WWE champion. That AJ Styles should not be the champion right now. Sami Zayn trying to make that clearly that, that he has to do things the right way to get that shot again. But... Owens obviously does not give a damn whatsoever. And this matchup is underway. Here we go. Main event time on SmackDown. As Kevin Owens got up a tie up with Ambrose in the corner. Back against the corner is Owens but a shot to the side of the face of Ambrose. Got up a tie up once again. Side headlock. Able to get it down this time. I mean Ambrose may be out of his mind. May be crazy. He may do questionable things. But in the end it is effective. And he gets the job done regardless. Ambrose a former... WWE Champion in his own right, former two-time champ. Last time was champion all the way back in 2K17 of Universe Mode as Ichidoku driver being planted by Ambrose. I mean, these two men have... Oh, my God. Close line there by Owens. Took him down. Cover. Puts the outside leg. Referee trying to make sure that Ambrose did not get close to the ropes going for the, ten, for the pin count to occur. And now Ambrose now. Shots, 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 shots. My God! Firing at all cylinders to Zambos there. Both men have some similarities. They're both obsessed with becoming WWE Champion, without a doubt. Both men, former Intercontinental and WWE Champions. Both men have reached high level of success in the past. It's Owens now. They're going to go into the outside for a quick breather, but Ambrose not looking to let him breathe whatsoever. Ambrose are going to bring Owens back inside the ring. Coming up next after this matchup, we're going to find out if King Booker is Ambrose taking Owens out to the outside. We'll find out if the general manager of SmackDown Live has anything for AJ Styles for the Royal Rumble. And now uh, Ambrose are going to take it towards the, the, the crowd here. We just launched Owens onto the, the hard floor regardless. There's some damage there. But for a shot, Ambrose blocked it. Big shot, Owens blocked it, count after counter. These guys have barely been in the ring with each other, yet they know each other so well, perhaps. I, I, I guess they studied each other, for all I know. And who knows what's in the mind of both men. I don't want to single out either one. Both men are crazy. Both men are dangerous. They'll do whatever it takes, and they don't give a damn how you or anyone else feels about it. And now Owens with a vicious lariat taking down Ambrose. My God! But it's like when Owens hits something hard, Ambrose comes back and hits harder. Ambrose now got him on the ropes. 
Irish sweat. Four, oh, form in the face by Owens. Here comes Lunatic Lariat. Able to take down Owens. And Akeo is in trouble. Ambrose. Looking to hit him. Dirty Deeds. Will this be enough? Dirty Deeds to pin Kevin Owens. And a kick out. Owens able to survive the Dirty Deeds. Kevin Owens got him over the top, hanging out on the ropes. Got him here. Oh my God. Nasty draping DDT by KO. Kevin Owens, those nasty, nasty DDT in the headshots on the mat as well. We're gonna do some damage to the skull of Ambrose. Got him in the corner, in position. Normally when Owens have someone in the corner seated, they were, he would try to go for the, the cannonball. I mean, I mean, Kevin Owens, one of the most successful superstars in 2K18 season of Universe Mode. But yet, now in 2K19 in Season 5, Owens has been on this reign of terror. And Ambrose, we're going to smash the head of Owens onto the top turnbuckle pad there. Who knows how much brain cells Owens have lost there. And now Owens got up. The Pando Neckbreaker. Will this be to beat Ambrose here? And a kick out. Not able to beat Dean Ambrose with the pump handle neckbreaker. But maybe this might do it. Kick to the gut. You know what's coming up. What goes up? Pop the power bomb. Down goes Ambrose. Hooks the leg. Will it be enough? And Ambrose says, you kicked out of my dirty deeds. I'll kick out of your Papa Powerbomb. Both men not able to play each other with their big shots. Their big maneuvers. Not able to put each other away. Chopper there by Ambrose. Got him here. Swinging neck breaker. And now Ambrose. Look at it going to, into that place. Formed in the face. And another one. Here comes Ambrose. Full of steam. Running form. What a bulldog. Ambrose. On fire right now. And now Dean Ambrose got him. Fisherman suplex. Hooks the outside leg. Will it be enough to count? Oh, almost had him. Almost had him. Almost had Kevin Owens. And now Ambrose oof, on the apron. And then Owens took him down. And now Kevin Owens tried try to go for a clothesline. But Ambrose blocked it. Oh, missed him right there. But Ambrose got him on the right. Backhand chop. Both men exchanging chops. Able to duck it. Kick to the gut. Just trading blows with both men on the outside. And a four by the referee. Very crucial in this match right now. Oh, snap suplex. As the crowd on their feet here in Pontiac, Michigan. I'm sure in favor of Dean Ambrose. Not really behind Kevin Owens. Nasty headbutt there by Owens. But KO shot to the back by Ambrose. Ambrose got him. Hooks the arms. Dirty deeds. Dirty deeds planted. Down goes Owens perhaps. Oh my God. God almost had him. I thought that was it. Ambrose a bit frustrated now. And I don't blame him. 30 deeds was hit. Yet Owens still kicked out. And now Kevin Owens. Uh oh. Uh oh. Pop up. Power bomb. Will version 2 be enough? Kevin Owens beats Ambrose. Oh my god! Dirty Deeds wasn't enough to put away Owens. But the pop-up power bomb was able to put away Ambrose. Kevin Owens with a nice win tonight. Ruining the, the return of Ambrose in his debut look in his debut look as Oh no. Oh no, we've seen that look before. We've seen that look before! 
Kevin Owens, oh, come, oh, for the love of God. For the love of God. Ambrose, you're out of control. Somebody needs to stop this man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after what just happened, next week on SmackDown Live, Jeff Hardy, we're going to get payback on Kevin Owens in a no disqualification match. Can Owens put away Hardy for good, or will Hardy successfully get vengeance? And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time. What will AJ Styles get tonight on SmackDown? Will he get a challenger? Or will he get nothing at all? The WWE Champion. The man able to successfully retain the title at the TLC pay-per-view against Y2J Chris Jericho. A great match on the pay-per-view. And now AJ Styles are going to find out who will be the one to face him. Will King Booker have somebody just come out? Will King Booker himself come out and explain to AJ Styles what's going on with the title picture for SmackDown Life as far as the Royal Rumble pay-per-view goes? Or maybe, maybe AJ Styles could potentially, I don't know if there's a, I don't know if there's a champion that's ever had a day off of a pay-per-view. I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't ever remember a WWE champion having a day off on pay-per-view. AJ Styles with the microphone in hand. Immediately calling out King Booker. He wants to know who's going to face him. I mean, Styles has defeated a lot of superstars. John Cena, Kurt Angle. He's defeated Ambrose, Owens, Sami Zayn, a lot of superstars. Goldberg in the past as well, Seth Rollins before. He's been a lot of people. And I say he might take a day off and watch the Rumble on the YouTube network for all he knows. But it's all up to King Booker to find him a worthy competitor. But who's going to face AJ Styles though? the hell is this? Who the hell is this? What? Are you? No! 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 Oh my god! Ricochet! It's Ricochet! One of the hottest superstars in the independent scene! Oh my god! Ricochet is the man coming out here! We all thought it would be Kate Booker to come out and explain to AJ Styles what's going on with Ricochet! Ricochet's on SmackDown! Holy shit! What the hell is going on here? Oh my god! Oh. Ricochet with a microphone in hand. Oh my god! It's Ricochet that's facing AJ Styles at the Royal Rumble. Oh my. Well, we're out of time. Good night from Pontiac, Michigan. Ricochet versus Styles in Phoenix.